Nars orgasm. My oh my, it's the famous orgasm in the whole internet. I just can't wait to put this orgasm all over my face. YouTube, don't come for me! I am reviewing the product! <laughs> Hello, gorgeous, beautiful stars! Paris Star Channel here with a new episode and... Ta -da -ta -da, today, the star of the show is going to be... Nas! Nas has arrived in the house and it stayed! <laughs> so today... I am going to put to the test the new super famous NARS light reflecting foundation, but, but, with a little bit of a twist because, well, official NARS site recommends not only this super famous foundation for the moment, but it proposes the whole light reflecting um, complexion in a form of this foundation, in the form of the setting powder, and like I managed to have the whole set, but in the form of this light reflecting powder, and in the form as well of radiant creamy concealer. This, as for today, it's the official complexion proposal by NARS, the Radiant Complexion. So, we are going to put this on our face. I mean, I am going to put it on my face and I'm going to put this to the test and see how radiant I can become. <laughs> so yes, if this is something that interests you, please tune in to the party when we celebrate diversity and beauty because we are all different and that makes us all beautiful. <laughs> Let's go with today's episode. Let's roll the intro, baby. <laughs> Has internet just recently is just talking all the time about this this new NARS foundation? So obviously, um, I had to run and I had to buy it, and I'm actually very excited. But as I said before, NARS, as the website proposed, the whole radiant complexion, and in this complexion you have the foundation, you have the powder, and then you have the concealer, the all three products are over here. I'm very curious if is it gonna work for my aging skin, you know, over 40 years old, things are completely different. I am absolutely very excited about the new skin caring foundation, rich with ingredients and everything, so yeah, let's jump in and let's start the today's episode. So first we're gonna jump quickly to the website and we're going to read the, um, the claims about this foundation. So what we can read from the website. Skin in its best light. Um, the key claims is reveals a more even skin tone by 95%. A long time improves the appearance of skin clarity over time, even after makeup is removed. Uh, medium build, buildable coverage, natural finish, breathable all day wear, vegan formula powered by advanced skincare ingredients, suitable for most skin type, including sensitive skin and acting prone skin friendly. 30 milliliters for, for the foundation and then when we go to the to the benefits we see that skin in its best light makeup skincare hybrid foundation I love that it's a trend for now I think for people who are over 40 years old who you know who have normal to dry skin the skincare foundation is just a dream come true, something that probably we've been waiting for a very long time and we are not even aware of it. So hybrid foundation instantly blurs imperfections, smooths the looks of textured skin and pores and helps conceal blemishes, dark spots and redness. 
featuring photochromic technology, a photo-friendly powder that adjusts complexion tone in response to the intensity of light skin, never appears washed out. Powered by skincare, revealing clarity over time, Light Reflecting Foundation is a vegan formula comprised of 70% skincare ingredients. Amazing! And it's clinically shown to immediately strengthen and enhance luminosity while improving the look of skin's clarity over time, even after makeup is removed. Uh, light Reflecting Complex hel help reflect light like prism by addressing luminosity at the surface of the skin and helping defend against external factors. Gentle formula and everyday essential. This formula contains over 81% naturally derived ingredients and it's suitable for daily use on most skin type including sensitive skin. Amazing! Incredible! And then this is the list of the ingredients and basically when it comes to this foundations there are four key ingredients which are biometric oats visibly improves clarity by reducing the appearance of redness while helping to soothe and calm the look of skin. Japanese Lily Turf immediately strengthens skin's barrier helping to maintain its moisture and cacao peptides and milk thistle. Uh, helps reduce the negative effect of blue light on other environmental stressors which as of today it is really very important because the pollution is basically everywhere and the air is not as fresh as people would, would might think let's go and have some fresh air well no it's, it's actually safer to stay at home <laughs> so yes when we look at the ingredients quickly we can see certainly that there are active ingredients quite high but first we see glycerin which is a very good moisturizing ingredient and then we have off of your <laughs> of your pogon japonicus root extract and then we have asophellum nodosum extract then we have theobroma cacao cocoa seed extract and curcuma longa, longa turmeric root extract and Silibum Marianum fruit extract and then when we go a little bit lower we have tocopherol a very powerful anti-aging antioxidant very good ingredient vitamin E and then when we go even lower it's very very interesting we actually have um, water but in the form of a sea water sea water maris aqua or the mer which is very rare to see as in a formulation so this is really very good so yes when it comes to this product it's actually amazing again good ingredients clean beauty no junk <laughs> and um, the actives are pretty high in the line and they claim to have it over 80 percent naturally derived ingredients it is incredible on top of that 36 shades my shade is light to mont blanc and on official nas website this retails for 48 euros so yes that would be it but how about the powder that is another part of this uh, light reflecting um, complexion. Let's have a quick look. So when it comes to powder on the official NARS website we can read invisible whiteless finish, whiteless formula applies evenly a blend effortlessly enhancing the look and wear of foundation extended shade range iconic best-selling setting powder is now available in a range of four translucent shades for all skin tones photo friendly formula that's perfect in any light no flashback formula featured photochromic technology that diffuses and adjusts to the new sources of light so skin looks perfected in person 
and on camera. NAS exclusive light reflection reflecting complex optimizes light reflection for a soft focus effect, fine lines, wrinkles and pores, optically fade as skin is visibly smooth, improves the looks of skin, micro fine mineral powders loaded with glycerin, amaz amazing, and I antioxidant vitamin E, amazing, help guard against dryness and help skin comfortable all day. Plus, NARS exclusive light reflecting complex helps restore skin's youthful radiance. So the promises are really incredible and just a quick look at the ingredients and definitely you can see glycerin pretty high up in the powder which is absolutely incredible especially for the dry or aging skin. Um, I I don't know if I have ever tried a glycerin in the form of the powder so I'm actually very curious how maybe not nourishing but how hydrating it's going to look on my skin and then you have Asophilum nodosum extract which is some active and then sea water which is uh, well which is actually very present in the new lineup in the new light reflecting lineup okay and then just the last thing because it looks like I don't know if the powders has been reformulated because I have never used and never jumped into the NARS brands but um, it looks like there are some slight changes. Let me show you what I am talking about right now. Alright, so when it comes to powders and setting powders from NARS you can have the two types. The first one is a NARS pressed powder and the second one is a loose powder. So I guess it's pretty st straightforward when it comes to the setting powder. It looks like this. There is a very cute puff in here and this is in the shade crystal. But then I think, I deeply believe that when it comes to loose powder either they change the formulation or the packaging. I I well, let me let me just show you this, okay? So when you open in here now, you have this protective lid. I don't think there was a protect. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think there was a protective protective lid in here. So then you open it up, and then well, there's a protection. I am not actually going to open it for now because I have the whole <laughs> the whole powder pressed powder in here. But then you lift it, and then. You know, you put some as much powder as you want in here and then you securely close it. Click! And how convenient! The powder is not flying all over the place. I deeply believe even if they're not changed the whole formulation, they certainly changed the packaging to adapt to the new launch for the light reflecting, um, uh, you know, complexion. <laughs> All right, so that would be all about the whole, you know, introductions of the product. But now it's finally time to apply the product. So we're going to take this, um, this NARS light reflecting foundation um, in the shade light to which is Mont Blanc. And this is something that I want to show you that I saw on YouTube uh, from NARS, you know, on official NARS. YouTube, you can see the introduction of this product and how do they apply the product. And this is actually incredible. So now you can see it, how they do it. Basically, what they do, first let me shake it. So basically, what do they do on that video? As you can probably see right now, what do they do? They take the foundation and they squirt it in the in the part inside, like inside the palm of your hands, which is incredible. Usually, people well they do it like here on the palm of the, or like using palettes. No, Nas proposes to apply it on in the inner palm of your hand and then apply it while using hands. And this is incredible. And maybe this is some sort of um of a hint how the new foundation should be applied. Just a reminder, Lisa Eldridge, when she introduced her foundation, she was using hands. Then you can see that NARS likes using hands and they propose it as well. But I deeply believe that Bobby Brown does it as well. If not other, you know, very famous um, and makeup artists and makeup brands. So this is what we're gonna do it today. For the sake of this video and for the sake of testing, let's see how does it work. 
no tools, no makeup tools, no brushes, no sponges, no nothing, just our hands when it comes to applying to this foundation. Enough. Anyway, I talk too much. Let's do it. Let's squirt it. They squirt it, so we are going to squirt it, okay? <laughs> Actually, like, uh, come on, come on up. Oh. There you go, okay. This is how it looks like, and now what they do on the video, they kind of like smudge it, smudge it, smudge it, smudge it. So we are smudging it as well. And we are applying it with a lay. Okay. Okay, the, the, well, okay, it makes sense. I mean, the product has definitely warmed up in my hands, so I'm going to apply it now using just my hands. I wonder, I, I don't know. You know, we have pandemic, so we kind of avoid using hands. But maybe this is, this is the way. I don't know. And since this is a foundation that is filled with, with skincare, maybe it's actually, you know, I should not worry to apply it under my eyes and just, just, just go for it, you know. Okay, the 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 consistency is very creamy, very serum like. It is very na okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It is, it is pretty. It is pretty. Wow, and my and I I think it's my it's my shade, the Mont Blanc. I think it's a perfect shade, the Mont Blanc light too. I think it's a it's a perfect shade and uh, what is with this wizardry? Oh my, oh. And there is a coverage and it's, oh. <laughs> well, I am a little bit mesmerized about what is happening now in front of the camera. What the, what is going on? It spreads like butter. It looks like as if some, it would be some sort of a gel serum. And look at this. It is, I think, what? Oh, and then as you can see on the video there, after applying, they're tapping it with their fingers. So they're warming up the product and helping it, you know, set to the skin. Very pretty coverage. Um, very lightweight formula, but there is a coverage. There is certainly a coverage in here. Very pretty. And yeah, look, this is how it looks like. The face is half covered and the face is not half covered. Very pretty. Very, very nice. Okay, so it looks like it's working, you know, this whole thing. When you take the foundation from the palm of your hand and just apply it just as if it would be some sort of a skincare product. Wow, okay. I feel like I could be hired by NAS now, you know, hello! No, just joking. <laughs> oh, but, yeah. And you know what? You can actually adjust the coverage to your liking. It's, it's, I love, oh my gosh, I really like it. I really like it. I really enjoy it so far. I'm taking everything what is left from the palm, from my palm of my hand. And it looks like it's, it's I think it's really working, you know, this kind of a method. Maybe it's going to be like a thing now. Not only the Radiant Serum Foundation, but maybe applying the products with your hand as well. I wonder. I am shook. I am shook how pretty it looks like, how radiant, but most importantly how lightweight. I don't feel anything on my skin. A very pretty light medium coverage, but rather more medium than light medium because, well, yeah, it's, it's very, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running out of words because it looks pretty and on top of that I think this is my shade Mont Blanc it looks really nice alrighty so the foundation is applied and it's time now to go to second step of the whole light reflecting um, complexion what is proposed by NAS and this is the setting setting the, the things 
<laughs> with a setting powder. Look how pretty it looks like. I actually had a chance to buy it as a di at a discounted price from the shop. That is one of my favorite, feel unique. They propose lots of discounted products and one of my favorite, and this is how it was shipped. So let's have a look inside this gorgeous packaging. What is in here? Look, it is arriving in a beautiful pouch that looks like this, NARS. And then you open the pouch and then you can have, and this is something that's very typical for NARS. I don't know if you've ever shopped with NARS. They wrap everything with a black paper. So this is the powder over here. And then there is another thing that is a surprise brush. Let me show you this to you. So then you unwrap this from the paper and you have beautiful powder that looks like this. And you open it up. And then you have a puff. <laughs> How cute. So they propose it probably to apply it with either a puff or a brush. And then the brush that has been, you know, supplied with the whole set looks like this. Very nice, very pretty, very handy. So it is time now to open the brush. Ta-da! All right, and let's let's just unwrap it, you know? <laughs> Ta-da! And then you have it! A very cute brush! <laughs> very nice, very lovely. So, I'm going to keep this beside me because before I'm going to set, I am going to use a NARS a uh, radiant creamy concealer that is just you know a very famous concealer so since my foundation is in a light 2 light 2 is called in the foundation Mont Blanc I decided to choose a light 2 as well with my concealer although this is vanilla so this is the foundation is light to Mont Blanc and the creamy concealer is light to but vanilla. So, you know, let's 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 just dive in and see. So there you have it. This is how it looks like, the radiant creamy concealer. I think the shade shade might be actually quite pretty. So, yeah. Let's just go. Let's just go and see, well, how it looks like. Although I can already tell you that the foundation has already very beautifully covered my under eye areas and I don't know if I need a lot of this concealer, but since this is the whole Radiant complexion in the form of the foundation, concealer and the powder, we're just going to put this to the test. I'm actually curious, is it really, why is it so famous? I'm scared of concealers. The concealers basically expose that I'm wearing makeup right away, you know? <laughs> but yeah, never mind. Okay, let's... Oh! Oh! A very tiny doe foot! A mini doe foot! <laughs> okay, let's put some under eyes. And we are going to use a finger because today it's it's the day, you know, when we're using when we are applying makeup while using finger. Very pretty instant coverage, extremely light, extremely light, you know. I can't believe it. Like I don't feel anything that it is on my eyes like on my eyes under my eyes mm. <laughs> very nice very so far really very 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 pretty and this is how it looks like let me get closer concealed eye 
non-concealed eye okay now when you see the two under eyes you can see the difference this is very pretty very nice coverage not heavy very light light reflecting this is how they say it and yeah okay let's go to the other eye and see i'm not really applying a lot i personally don't think that i need it you know <laughs> this dofoot is funny You definitely need to be patient when it comes to applying this concealer. You know, you can't just like tap, tap, tap and it's done. No, you need to work it into the skin. So, yeah. All right, you guys. Um, the first impressions are very positive, very nice. As I said, very lightweight and like completely I don't feel that I have wear anything under my eyes I I well the first impression are really very good hmm? so this is how it looks like the concealed eye with a concealer and now it's time to go to this light reflecting powder so I'm going to use as you as you've seen I have two the loose one and the pressed one but I am going to use the pressed one oops the puff I don't know, should I use the puff? Should I use the puff or should I use the brush? I'm confused. I'm so difficult at making decisions. <laughs> anyway, I am going to keep the puff for some other time and I actually want to test the brush that has been supplied with the set. So yeah, I uh, let's, let's, let's do it, okay? So this is the brush. It is very cute, very fluffy, very nice. And you know, let's just do it. It's very weird. I have the impression that it's not really picking up the way I would like to. It's quite pretty hard here on the pan. I need to kind of like dig in. <laughs> in the beginning I was gentle but I am not gentle anymore. Come on, pick up powder. Alright, to apply the powder under my eyes I'm going to first tap here to find to you know to get rid of all the creases and what i am going to do i'm going to take the small fluffy brush So yeah, I can definitely say that the promises ab about the powder is is delivered, you know, are delivered. The skin looks smoother, it looks set, but not super matte. It actually looks radiant, soft, matte. I, I like it. So far, I like it. But as you can see, we look a little bit ghostly. So it is time now to apply a little bit of a color. So when it comes to color, I actually managed to get, and I never used it, <laughs> I never did, the bronzer from the last summer. It was called the Summer Solstice Bronzer. And look at the packaging. Oh my gosh, and how huge this is, the packaging. I think this bronzer is going to, be, to last like for eternity <laughs> so yeah let's unpack the bronzer let me introduce it to you it was a limited edition but i deeply believe if you would go to the official nars website you can still get it so yeah it's not like it's lost completely look at this you open in here and ta-da <laughs> how pretty Wow, oh my oh my, the NARS packaging, very pretty. So it's time to look inside and ta-da, there you have it. Okay, there is a protection here. This is how the bronzer looks like and it's a, oh, oh my God, it smells, oh, oh, it smells like summer. Oh my. 
It's... <laughs> I want to sniff it all the time. It smells really very good. It smells really very good. So then you have the bronzer and then you have a little bit of a highlighter and this is what I always wanted to do and this is what is actually happening happening right now on the camera. I always wanted to have this bronzer. As you can see, it has never been used. Ah, I was waiting for a special occasion. The, ro the occasion has arrived. So I always wanted to take this bronzer and take this brush, especially this brush from It Cosmetics and do it like this. Look at this. Wait, 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 wait. Swirl it around and mix highlighter with a bronzer let me be precise because now I need to be really precise. Get the, the shade on like here. See? And apply it to my face. This is what I always wanted to do it. Look, this is a perfect, perfect brush for applying such 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 products, you know? Let's go. Pretty. It gives that subtle bronzy color, you know. It's not like super bronze. When you put the bronzer, like <laughs> I need to, I need to work this out, you know. Ah, oh, I like it. It gives that kind of a subtle bronzing. Um. But it is, it is here, the bronzer, the bronzer is definitely here, you can see the color. And at the same time when you're going to mix it with the highlight, it gives that kind of a beautiful glow, which absolutely perfect to this radiant complexion today. I think it's enough, I think I'm, I'm very, very well bronzed for now. Well, I'm not going to bronze myself much more since we have winter. <laughs> so yeah, the next step of this whole NARS complexion is going to be NARS orgasm. My oh my, it's the famous orgasm in the whole internet. I just can't wait to put this orgasm all over my face. YouTube, don't come for me. I am reviewing the product. <laughs> I actually never used it as well, this orgasm, because, um, well, I just kept it for a special occasion when I wanted to review the whole NARS brand and I wanted to jump in and see if it works for me. So, yeah, this is how it looks like. It's a mega... <laughs> it's a mega orgasm, let's just say. <laughs> so yeah, this is this is the packaging. Very pretty, really very pretty. And then you open the packaging and Sara, you have the blush. I'm going to take this off and then I'm going to take the brush and apply the 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 the, the blush with a brush. <laughs> There's a beautiful mirror in here. <gasps> Okay, I understand now what is going on. Basically, what is happening is that this pink blush has some kind of a gold, golden champagne highlight mixed in, and it gives you that kind of a very glowy, very pretty pinky uh, champagne blush highlighting effect, if this is how I can actually explain it. It looks, looks very pretty, it looks very nice. Just a little bit more. This is nice as well because basically you don't need a highlighter anymore. This thing does its job, you know, twice. 
I think it's enough. I think the makeup looks looks really very 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 nice. Um, what would be the next step? Um, just a little bit of um, of a zhuzh to my eyelids. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to take a little bit of an eye blender brush and I'm going to take this beautiful bronzer, Summer Solstice, and just, you know, just tap it over here and just just put a little bit of this bronzer on my eyelids to give myself a little bit of a shade and then blend it just a little bit for a little bit of a color. Very pretty. very nice and in the middle I'm going to put a little bit of a sparkle because this is this is a highlight in here so I'm going to take a brush like this one and I'm going to put it in the middle And this is how it looks like on my eyelids. Very pretty, actually. Very pretty, effortless makeup, you know. So the last step of this whole makeup that is really very easy and effortless is going to be put something on my lips. And this is NARS Afterglow Lip Balm in the shade Orgasm, of course, because what else? <laughs> um, and this is how... It looks like, ta-da, very pretty. Well, if you're gonna compare it with the with the blush, well, they very they go in the same direction, to be honest. And then, this is the packaging, ta-da, and you take the lip balm. Oh, very pretty, very nice. I'm going to take the mirror and apply it to my lips. Very pretty, very nice, very balmy. It's like, is there something happening? There is definitely something happening on my lips. They definitely feel covered in some kind of um, nourishment. And there is a little bit of that very typical NARS orgasm shade, which is a pinkish combined with a champagne highlight. I don't know if a camera can pick this up, but yeah, it's definitely here. Ah, I like it. Let me put this on the palm of my hand so that you can see. See, this is how it looks like. It is very gentle, but it's definitely here. I like it. I love that kind of a balms, you know. When it's kind of like in here, it's kind of not like in here. For me, it's a perfect type of the, of the lip balm. I absolutely love it. So, yes. And there you have it, the whole NARS light reflecting complexion in the form of the foundation, in the form of concealer, and in the form of the powder. The whole light reflecting complexion is right now on my face. And let me get closer. Oh my gosh, it looks really pretty. This makeup looks very pretty, no doubt. So yes, this is how the whole NARS full face would look like. But this is not over when it comes to episode because I will be back after a few days of testing this foundation with my final thoughts and, you know, my final summary about this foundation only. I actually am very curious how it performs, how it combines with the other products and does it live up to its claims to be a wonderful skincare foundation that not only gives you a coverage but as well takes care about your skin. So in me it would be I'll see you in a few days but in you it'll be just a second so stay tuned for that. 
Hello, gorgeous, beautiful stars. Paris Star Channel here with a check-in in the natural light. And um, I'm blinking actually because the light is actually very powerful in here. And on top of that, it reflects from the lake. So my eyes might be a little... <laughs> but this is very important to show how the light reflecting foundation and powder looks like in natural light. So there you have it in the full glory. And what I can say, wait a second, let me give you some close up. So what I can say instantly, that is a very beautiful airbrushed, perfect, perfected look that looks like a makeup. <laughs> so this is like a one edge further when it goes, when it comes to natural look. I prefer natural look. Never, nonetheless, this is a very beautiful airbrush perfected look. But this is, as I said, that looks like makeup. So yeah, this is the check-in. And now we're going back to the studio for my final thoughts about the NARS light reflecting products. Bye bye now. And we are back. Paris Star Channel welcomes you back for the final checking and my final thoughts about the NARS Radiant Complexion and Makeup that you can see right now. And my oh my, there are definitely some thoughts and some things that I would like to talk about. So first, let's start with color. And there are some up and downs so let's just get on with it first thing that I would like to talk about would be the most famous NARS blush well NARS blush looks like we are having love and hate relationship and let me explain you why because this is something very important the color of the blush itself it's extremely pretty it's kind of like beautiful youthful pinky Barbie color absolutely lovely but then it's mixed with a highlight and the highlight it's extremely potent gold highlight what does it mean for people who have uh, like fair skin when you add uh, the the blush when you uh, when you add it heavy handed you can see the beautiful pinky blush mixed with this kind of a super potent gold highlight that is not matchy matchy for my skin type. So I can go really very gently with that blush, but then if I want more, I, I can't put more because then it's just that super duper potent gold highlight I just popping in and it's not much with my skin tone. So we're having a love and hate relationship. Layered it lightly, it looks extremely pretty. Layered it heavy, I can't do it. I can't possibly wear it. But the most important thing is that by all means, this is a very good product. So I understand the love behind this product because it is really very pretty. It's just sadly not for my skin type. If the highlight inside would be less potent like champagne maybe or even you know glows translucent without any color base then it would be like a dream come true can we make an orgasm light <laughs> out of this product you know with a definitely lighter highlight base uh, then i would definitely love it nonetheless it is definitely a good product and oh my it looks absolutely pretty on the eyelids guys um, I don't know if it's visible. I actually put this on my eyelids and then I finished with a bronzer in which I'm gonna jump in a second. So yes, these are my thoughts about this extremely interesting product that is called NAR, let's just say it really well last time, NARS Orgasm. <laughs> then the next thing that goes in pair with the, the blush was the balm and my oh my. This is so good. This is exactly something that I'm looking in a balm, you know. It gives that kind of an instant nourishment to the lid, to the lips. It um it gives a very beautiful subtle color and it takes care about your lips. I love it. And my lips actually they kind of 
eat the bomb. <laughs> it does its job and it does its job really very nicely. I can't stop saying good things about this lip balm. And then the next thing that was on my face was the bronzer from the last year um, collection Summer Solstice. I really like this bronzer. The reason why I like this bronzer is because it is in the beginning very light and then you can build it up you know it's not like super punchy bronzy color it is very light and you can build it this is something that i like because it is very user friendly you can you know you can you can work this out so this is how it looks like oh, it's very <laughs> uh. and the bronzer and the highlight is actually on my lids as well and this is how i created this eye look So we're really very useful. The thing is that the smell, the fragrance of this 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 bronzer is pretty, but you know, there are different tastes. Some people may like it, some people might not like it. So beware, because the fragrance of this bronzer is certainly very potent and it stays on your face for quite some time. Nonetheless, it gives you an extremely pretty dimension to your face and it's buildable, so I personally love it. Okay, and it's time to jump now to the radiant complexion proposed by NARS. And let's start with the things that didn't work out for me. And I swear, I definitely wanted to work it out. It didn't work out for me. And it was the NARS Creamy Concealer. For me, based on my own personal thoughts and experience, it's neither creamy... <laughs> It's neither radiant. It's 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 just for me the concealer is okay. It's just okay. I would like to be more than okay, you know? Let me just get closer so that you can have a look because I really wanted to try to to make it work out. So I'm getting closer. I powdered this under eye area, you know? And it just, it kind of aged me, you know? And this is, no, this is like, no. And in here, I did not powder. So, well, basically what I'm trying to say is that either if you are going to powder it or if you are not going to powder it, the outcome is going to be the same, which means it looks makeup -y. It looks makeup y and in my opinion it doesn't really look the way I would like it to look. I really pulled out the heavy artillery. I put the most plumping best under eye cosmetics to prepare my under eyes and then I went on with this concealer and then I wanted to you know to powder it and unpowder it and observed it and <sighs> no. <laughs> No, it just it just it's just not satisfying enough for me. This is my own personal opinion. If it works for you, I'm really so happy that it works for you. I really wanted it to work for me. It didn't work out. So yeah, we're stepping aside from it. We're moving on, you know. <laughs> no harsh feelings. <laughs> then another things in the radiant complexion would be powders. Either the loose powder or the pressed powder and my oh my let's first talk about the pressed powder because this is something really very extraordinary so when you're gonna open it it comes with a puff you take the puff and then there is this kind of a protection plastic protection and then you know and then there is a powder in here and and I don't know just look at it This is so strangely, super hardly pressed that it is like plastic. <laughs> you picking it up, but the problem is that it is so user unfriendly. You really need to be a pro makeup artist to know how much to pick up this product to apply it to your face because you may actually overpowder yourself, you know. This is... 
this really, this, this thing looks like plastic, it touches like plastic, it's kind of picking up the product, but then it just confuses you, it just, you just don't know, should you use brush, is it on the brush when you pick up the brush, is it, is it just anywhere, so yes, so if you are not a pro, and you are new to the makeup or consider yourself as a medium experienced type of a person, I definitely encourage you to get the loose powder. This is where you're gonna know how much you pick up, how much you need and how much you apply to your face because this kind of a plastic <laughs> press situation is an ah uh, ah uh, uh. Nonetheless, it is beautiful beautiful powder. So I don't know if you know Hourglass Ambient Light Powders. It's a little, when it comes to radiance with these powders, it's a little bit lower from the amb uh, Hourglass Ambient. Nonetheless, it is perfecting, it is smoothing, it is radiant, it looks very pretty and here are the photos of, you know, my, my face when I applied the makeup. It looked absolutely beautifully perfect and radiant. I absolutely love it. So I will, I will use up the whole press, but then I deeply encourage you to step aside from the press and buy the loose one. You might actually like it. The, the, the radiance and the light reflection promised by NARS is definitely delivered. And the last and final thoughts about the star of today's episode would be NARS Radiant Light Reflecting Foundation. Let's say it in French. Fond de teint reflechissant à la lumière. <laughs> Let's start my final thoughts about this extremely interesting and intriguing product. I'm over 40 years old. My skin is normal to dry with an extremely dry patches right over here. So when I look for foundation, I look for the foundation that is luminous, that is radiant, self-setting but non-drying at the same time. And it's just, if it's packed with a skincare, that is even better. And my oh my, NARS delivers it. So let's go quickly. Uh, to summarize the foundation, the 48 euros on NARS website, you will have to pay for 30 milliliters of the foundation. The 36 shade is a huge range and mine, Light 2 Mont Blanc, is my perfect shade. <laughs> and I'm so happy! It is my perfect shade. I deeply believe that you will be able to find your own shade as, as well. When it comes to ingredients, it has glycerin, it has vitamin E and the four very powerful uh, skincare ingredients actives that are working on your skin and they're doing their job. The consistency is very light but then the coverage is medium and it's quite powerful punchy medium coverage. Um, it doesn't oxidize, you know, this foundation is, is, is very miraculous. It doesn't oxidize, which is very cool. The shade you're going to buy it, the shade you're gonna get. And then uh, it doesn't, it doesn't smell. It doesn't have any smell. This is really very, very interesting. It is very user-friendly, although, um, you know, the NARS proposes to apply it with the fingers. Um, I tried it. It looks cool. It looks good. It, there's more to play than when you're applying with, with the fingers. I definitely prefer to apply it with a damp beauty sponge. It is super quicker than it kind of better melts with the skin for me giving you a better effect. And then the most important thing is, does it transfer? So here are the photos of the face masks of the makeup that I was wearing for 15 hours. And yes, of course it will transfer. It will wear off from here, from the nose and a little bit from the sides because, you know, of the, of the elastics that you have it on your mask. But then, wait a second, So it will wear off from your nose and here from the sides because how you're wearing the mask. But then, my oh my, the transfer is definitely very, very low. 
you know, it doesn't transfer a lot. You don't really have to use super duper heavy artillery in the form of setting sprays to lock it into place. It will transfer, but but just a little bit. It's normal. When you rub it, it will transfer. When it comes to coverage. And this is my personal thought about it. You know, there are certain products, certain for uh, certain foundations, so that you, when you wear it, people are like, are you wearing something? Are you? Uh, mm, uh. If you're not wearing something, that you're having a very good skin. So people are kind of confused. They don't know if I'm wearing makeup or I don't wear makeup. This foundation goes just one step further towards foundation, the real foundation and makeup. What does it mean? When people see me in this, they know that I'm wearing makeup. They just don't doubt if I'm wearing makeup. So I have certain foundations that are skincare serum foundations that they don't look like makeup. This go just a teeny tiny step further and goes towards rather real coverage foundation type and looking like makeup. Nonetheless, it is extremely pretty good looking skincare foundation no doubt i really like it so if i would like to go on a days when i like to have more coverage that looks very pretty i would definitely go with nars if i would like to have a little bit a day just and every day when I want some less coverage and just evening in my, my skin tone, I would go with the other foundations. Win, which, by the way, the comparison is coming. Nas, Charlotte Tilbury and Chanel all together in the new episode. Stay tuned. It might be really very interesting. So, yes, the bottom line is that Paris Star Channel gives a green light to this gorgeous and wonderful NARS light reflecting foundation. It is a very interesting product and I deeply encourage you to try it out on your own. You should not be disappointed. So yeah, that would be all for today's episode. Thank you so very much for tuning in, staying with me. The episode is, is long. <laughs> As always, I'm trying to make it short. Uh, uh, I can't make it happen for now, but I will be keep on trying. Okay, so thank you very much for staying, for tuning in, for celebrating diversity and beauty because we are all different and that makes us all beautiful. Um, I guess that would be all. Greetings from Paris Star Channel. Mwah. Bye bye now.